<sighs> Episode 5, I started this off the same way. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking to you about an interesting thing which I thought about um, while watching one of Vex's videos on player-only pressure plates. So I've designed one which is based off of his. It's a bit more compact. That's the main reason I decided to design this. So the idea is that you got your path, which will be made of glass, I guess. First thing I thought the sound wasn't working again, but it apparently is. And then you go over, and it teleports you up to wherever. It executes whatever command you want, which in this case is teleporting to a sign up here on barriers, in case you're wondering. And so the way this works, uh, the reason, first of all, I'll say the reason why the uh, diorite and granite are here is if in this world, if I just removed all the granite, it would still work, but in some worlds it won't, depending on how you make it, which I'll explain a bit later. So this is what the um, thing looks like, and I've got barriers all in front, so you can see clearly the insides. So the pressure plate is where you'll be standing. Really, in reality, this will still work even if it isn't a pressure plate, as shown. And um, one other thing, that uh, this spot, this spot, pretty much uh, all the spots with the glass on it, they will actually uh, activate the spawner and activate the whole device, so I, can't, I couldn't get it to only be one position, unfortunately. So, basically there's a spawner down here, which is the spawner in this command block. So we got set block, mob spawner replaced the previous block, which that's the command block, because we got tilda tilda tilda. Uh, we spawn a villager, and that villager has no health, so he dies instantly. Uh, we spawn 50, so um, the spawner tries to spawn uh, villagers in a certain area, which we specify, and if it fails, then nothing happens, so it tries to spawn 50 at a time, and that incre increases the spawn rates for us. Then we have spawn range of 2, so that's radius 2. Uh, require play range, so that's how far we need to be away from it, that's 3. Then there's delay 1, minimum spawn delay 1, and max spawn delay 1, so pretty much as fast as it will go. And max need by entities, I don't think that part's necessary, but oh well. Also, one thing before anyone asks, I'm using a 14W20B snapshot, which is a 1.8 snapshot for any future viewers who may not know. And I can't guarantee that this uh, will work in lower snapshots or lower versions. It could work in some, but I don't think it will. And um, if a command isn't working even in this version or higher, then either A, the command is outdated, or B, there's some extra hyphens added into it because YouTube loves adding hyphens into commands. Basically, what I do, I just grab the command, I go into the description, say if it was in the description of the video, I just copy it, put it in a Word document, and then cipher through all the hyphens, uh, cipher through and find all the hyphens, but they're not really hyphens, it's hard to explain. Pretty much in commands, the only hyphens you'll ever need is negative coordinates, and that's pretty much it. So, this uh, the command up here is this guy here, and below is the teleporting command block. And the way it works is um, the glowstone's just there to light up that space so other monsters don't spawn and mess everything up. But that um, pressure plate, it powers the block below it, which is has to be something that's powerable, so you can't have glass or something. And then that powers the command block for the executing uh, command. So in this one, I think it's rigged to stay high. Yep, and as you can see, I only spawn here because I've blocked all other potential spawn places with uh, barriers. And that one, this can get even more compact than the way I have it. Because that, if you noticed, it actually has a spawn range of 2. So with spawn range of 1, if I were to set this to 1, for example, uh, I need to get in here. Okay, so I probably want to copy this whole command. Bear with me for a second. And now we're going to go over to spawn range and set that to 1 and this should not work 
once I've got it all set up. Okay, so I'll remove that, and you can see <laughs> you can clearly see it's spinning, but nothing's happening. Now, why is this happening? Well, when we have a spawn range of two, for example, normally you'd think that this the whole block is the center, and that there's two this way, two this way, two this way, two this way, etc. But it's more different and hard to explain. I, I don't really know how to explain it that well, but basically the center isn't the whole entire block. It's more like this corner over here. It's actually the north uh, western corner. It's easy to see because in the third paragraph, uh, line number four, there's the facing and Right now I'm facing north towards negative z, and now I'm facing west towards negative x. So it's the northwestern corner which you get extra range on, hence why in videos like uh, Efo's um, Blaze Farm tutorial, he actually he had an 8x8 eight eight area, and the, and the spawner was actually, um, if this was the center here, then that's where the spawner was, so... Yeah, it was a bit weird. And there's a uh, one thing. So you have to make sure that the place where you want them to spawn is either north or west. And I guess you could do northwest, but that's not that compact. So this uh, one... Oh, no, you're not supposed to go yet. <laughs> uh, this one uses a slightly different command. Uh, same stuff. It's got a smaller spawn count. That's pretty much because... It's got a limited range to check, so it spawns um, faster than the other one, but we don't want to spawn it too fast, otherwise the pressure plate will keep activating, and I don't know, it depends whether you want to use it as a teleporter or something else. Um, then we've got spawn range 1, and I think pretty much everything else is the same. And because this is north, northern corner, it will work. Western corner will, wo will <laughs> work. Eastern corner will fail and southern corner will fail. So to prove this, we're going to put that there and this will allow one to spawn even here if it could, but it can't because this corner is center and you've got one, 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 one. So that's how that works. And currently all the area inside there is unavailable. But if I were to move this, then it would work. So that's pretty much how you do it. If you um, if you need like help doing it, then I guess I could show you how to build it. So you put in uh, this one. Hang on, I'll probably just get the uh, smaller compact one just to make it easier. And we'll do it facing west, I guess. So we put in the command, and we're going to make it, um, yeah, my mind isn't thinking properly right now, which is annoying. Uh, we're going to put a pressure plate. I'm using uh, iron, but I think anyone will do just fine. And then we got to put uh, glass. So we've got center here. This this should work fine, probably. And we'll just put in something here so we know it's working. Yep, and it works, even on the western side. And just to make it a bit more tidy, you can do this. Uh, there's no need to do the bottom layer because uh, monsters can't spawn on the output command layer. And so yeah, that's how the device works and that's how you build it. All the commands will be in the description. Remember that to, when you put it into either Minecraft or Word document or whatever, check for um, for random hyphens that appear, that seems to be the main problem. And check that you're using the version which I am or higher, which is 14W20B, which is a 1.8 snapshot. And this may work in lower versions, but I haven't confirmed it. So I think that's pretty much everything I need to say. Have a nice day, and um, yeah, 
a play detector only teleporter that Vex <laughs> Vex took so long to get this working and I simplified it well I simplified it a lot but yeah I definitely did uh, I definitely wouldn't have done this if I didn't see him do it so yeah there you go see ya